Hey angels, what's up? It's your girl Alicia and I'm here today with another video. If you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel. My name is Alicia. Please make sure you hit that subscribe button, come over and join the family. If you are already one of my angels, you guys know I love you so much. And without further ado, let's just dive right into this video. Hey angels, so I'm here today with a quick word for you guys. And today we will be talking about writing the vision and making it plain. Okay, angels. So the Lord had really put it in my spirit that you guys are walking into a new season and God is going to be giving you guys God's vision. Okay, angels, you are going to be getting new vision. You are going to be getting divine provision from God, okay, moving forward in this new season, okay, angels. So the Lord is saying, seek me first, okay, write the vision, be specific about the vision, angels, push through the process, and trust God's timing, okay, angels. Hear what it is that I'm saying to you guys today. So, angels, the Lord is saying today that you need to put the vision on paper, okay? Why? Why you may be asking? Because writing is an act of obedience, okay, angels. So, the Lord actually led me to Habakkuk two, two, three, and it reads, "And the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables that He may run that readeth." it for the vision is yet for an appointed time okay and just the vision is for an appointed time is what the lord is saying today but at the end it shall speak and not lie though it tarry though it may be long suffering though it may take a while wait for it because it will surely come okay angels it will surely come saith the lord Okay, angels, let me see if I could break this thing down to you the way God gave it to me. Okay, angels. So the prophet Habakkuk was told to write the vision and make it plain. Okay, this was done in order for the one that reads it to have an understanding in order to run. This vision was for an appointed time. Okay, so angels, you might be asking right now, what is the vision? When is the appointed time? But these are things that God will reveal to you. Okay, angels, understand what it is that I'm saying to you guys today. The Lord is going to slowly start to reveal this vision to you in this season. So God has really put it in my spirit to actually walk you guys through this whole process. So follow me. Okay, angels. So Habakkuk 2 2 instructs us to write the vision okay right in the vision is obedience to what god has asked you to do okay the simple act of doing what the word of god says shifts us from being a passive laid back to being more active and being a doer okay angels Acting on God's instructions, angels, puts us in a position to receive his best, okay? Writing is also going to bring you this sense of clarity, okay? It's going to help you to be able to process your thoughts better, angels. Clarity is very important because it's going to provide focus for you, okay? Say focus, okay? Focus. Instead of being all over the place, Putting the pen to the paper brings this whole vision to the center stage. Okay, angels, hear what it is that I'm saying to you guys today. So once focus is achieved, it's easier to make plans in order to bring the desire to pass. Understand what it is that I'm saying to you guys today. So moving the idea from your mind to paper creates a physical representation of what is to come. Glory be to God. Okay, angels, so understand that God is pleased when we write in faith. Although we may not know all of the how-tos of the process, he helps us fill in the gaps. Okay, angels, as we trust him and we are obedient and you take small steps with God, he will begin to work everything out for you, angels. Okay, angels, so in Hebrews 11.1, 1, it says that faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Your writing by faith is the material that your future victory is made of. Okay, angels, if you can see it, you can believe it. Okay, this is why God is saying in this season, I need you to write it down. I need you to start getting clearer on the vision. Okay, angels, hear what it is that I'm saying. So writing down the vision spoken to you by God will be a visual reminder of your future win, okay? So at this point, angels, you might be asking, how do I find out God's vision for my life? 
It's simple, angels. It's simple. You ask them. You ask them. You say, God, what is your vision for my life? What do you want me to do, God? How do you want to use me, God? Ask God what he wants to do through you. Okay, angels? His vision for our lives is far beyond what we know. It is far beyond what we can ever even imagine. Okay, angels? Understand what it is that I'm saying today. So in Jeremiah 29, 11, it says that God knows the plans that he has for you. In Jeremiah 33, 3, it says that we can call him and that he will reveal things that we do not know. Okay. And Proverbs 3, 5 through 6 reminds us to trust him and to acknowledge him in everything that it is that we do. Okay, angels. His word says that he will direct our steps. Okay. When we pray and we totally surrender ourselves to his will, he can do amazing things in our lives. Okay, angels, understand what it is that I'm saying to you guys today. After you ask God what he wants for your life, you will have to do one thing. Comment down below one thing. You have to be still, okay, angels. Spend some alone time with God. Silence your world, okay? Shut out all the outside distractions, say of the Lord, and listen, and listen, okay? As you take control of the atmosphere around you, may I encourage you to be silent, to see what the Lord is impressing on your heart, okay, angels? You may not hear a thunderous, loud noise coming down from the clouds outside. You may just hear him speaking to you quietly, like quiet impressions on your heart. Okay, angels, you will be able to feel God's presence. Okay. So understand that as you sit in his presence, God inspired thoughts will fill your mind. Okay, angels, he will give you brilliant God ideas that you could have never came up with on your own. This is why you need to write, okay, angels? It may take some time to develop the discipline to be still and to actually sit down with God and start to write your vision. And it does not happen overnight, just small and consistent steps. And he will steadily move you closer, okay, angels? So you might be saying right now, how do I get into position for the vision to become a reality, Alicia? How do I bring this thing to reality, okay? And I'm going to try to help you out today, okay, angels? What I need for you guys to do is I need for you guys to write down every single desire it is that you have for your future, like... What would your ideal job or career be like, like your dream job, your, like your dream ministry? Like if you feel like God is leading you that way, like what would your ideal partner be like? OK, what kind of house would you be living in? What kind of car would you be driving? Like everything it is that you desire, put it down on paper. OK, write the vision, make it precise and plain. OK. Understand, angels, that you have angels with you 24-7. They will read it and they will run with it. Okay, angels, they will run after it. Okay, so Hebrews 1.14 says, Are not all angels ministering spirits set to serve those who will inherit salvation? Glory be to God. Our angels are dispatched to bring about the reality of that vision. Okay, angels. Position yourself for the vision. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. Acknowledge him. Okay, angels. Acknowledge him and he will direct your paths. Okay, angels. So to write a vision and make it plain while acknowledging the presence, the wisdom, and the counsel of God and trusting him in his perfect timing puts our angels on dispatch. Okay. The angels is ready to go. Comment down below, ready to go. Okay. And these angels will bring about whatever your list entails. So angels, if you are watching this video today, I want to encourage you guys to start working on your vision. The Lord is saying, write the vision and make it plain, okay? So when you're making this list, make your list in pencil, okay, angels? God is going to step in and he's going to come in with his ink pen and he's going to finalize this thing, okay, angels? Understand that it may take time for the vision to come together. Understand that God's ways are higher than yours. So you might have in your mind the picture of what things 
should be like for you, what you would like things to be like, where you would like to live, who you would like to be with. We have our own idea of how things should be, okay? But God is moving you guys into a season where you will get what God has for you, okay? You will be walking in your purpose, okay, angels? So trust God with the final draft of your vision, okay? Comment down below if this was confirmation for you. Comment down below if you already started working on your vision or if you have a vision. Comment down below if God has been putting his ink pen on your vision and manipulating and shifting different things, okay? I love you guys so much. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, angels. Mwah.